Hey everybody, it's Kevin Valdez again, and I'm glad to see you guys all are watching this video for those who of you who are. Um, yeah, and so we're just continuing on in our um, reading, our daily reading, and obviously right now we're in First Peter, and yeah, I'm just going to briefly, really briefly, just uh, talk about um, one, one thing that stood out to me in First Peter chapter 2. Um, if you remember in chapter 1... Um, yeah, it, it said a lot, but one of the things, one of the main theme, themes that I got from chapter one leading into chapter two was that, um, because of the gospel, because we've been transformed and saved through the gospel of Jesus, uh, our lives are to look different. Um, one is a natural, um, one is one, one, one form of, sorry, one source of how. Um, our lives look different is from just God through his Holy Spirit transforming you from the inside out, transforming your mind and your heart. But the other way that we are being transformed is through living a life of obedience and really having a conduct that reflects the gospel that saved us. Um, and so Peter goes into, uh, he's still continuing that thought. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Just because it's a new chapter doesn't mean it's a brand new thought. Um, so Peter's continuing this thought in chapter two. And, um, again, he talks about your conduct and he talks about your identity and who we are in Christ. Um, and therefore this, that's kind of the first half of chapter two, right? Talks about our conduct, our way of living, our new identity that we're a royal priesthood, right? A people of God. And then it flows into, uh, the second half of chapter two, which talks about submission and to, um, really live, um, the life that you've been given here on earth for Jesus. Now, if you read chapter two, like I said, there's a lot of great stuff in there, but one of the things that stood out to me was, um, I believe it's verse 21 and in verse 21, um, it's, it's kind of talking about this idea of suffering, but the second half of it says that, um, Jesus left us an example, uh, so that we can follow him or follow his example. Jesus suffered the way he suffered. Jesus lived the way he lived so that we have an example to follow. Um, that's essentially what it's saying. And, um, yeah, that's just kind of one of my, one little tip or just negative wisdom for you guys is this, is that in order for us to live a life that reflects the gospel, um, in order to live a life that has, a a conduct that is reflecting Jesus um, is simply to look to Jesus as your example. Um, that's why he lived the way he lived so that we had an example, a model. If you're a Christian, and I'm assuming you are, if you're watching this right now, um, putting your faith in Jesus to be saved and to be a Christian is to actually to follow Christ is to follow Jesus and so how are we going to follow Jesus if we don't know what his life looked like? But thankfully, God has shown us uh, the life of Jesus. One, uh, he, shown us his, uh, he showed us the life of Jesus um, through his three years of ministry. And we see that in the Gospels, right? Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, those four books. We get to see what Jesus was like how he interacted with his disciples and how he interacted with the Pharisees and with his followers and with his enemies. And we got to see, of course, Jesus suffer, living, suffering, dying on the cross, buried in the tomb and raised again from the dead and ascending into heaven. That's the gospel and the gospel is centered on Jesus. And so this is my encouragement that as Christians, we're not just reading the Bible just to check a box off, but we read the Bible so that we can know more about Jesus. He's supposed to be the center of our lives. And so um, the one of the, I would argue the best way for us to live more like Jesus is to learn about him. And so I always, always, always recommend and encourage people if they don't know where to start reading or they want to learn more about Jesus, start in the book of John. Why do I say the book of John? The book of John, out of the four books of the gospel, right? Out of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, out of those four books, we have more things recorded f from G about Jesus saying things about himself than any of the other books. And so 
Uh, he reveals a lot of incredible statements about himself and his deity and just who he is as um, the God man. And so, yeah. And so Peter's trying to point that to us, uh, trying to point that idea to us. He says, if you want to live a life of holiness, if you want to be holy as he is holy, right? Chapter one. And if you want to have a, a certain conduct that's glorifying to God, and if you want to be able to be submissive um, to God and just to live for him all out in, on this in this life, then we need to follow the example that Jesus has left us. Um, and so, yeah, I encourage you guys, keep reading First Peter, keep reading the Gospels, keep learning about Jesus and following him. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this so far, and just God bless.